Every Saturday we do a Shrey's Saturday video and this week we're going to take a look at an old timer which is a Shrey brand. This is the old timer Copperhead 2147 OT folding knife. Coming up on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So most of you know that Old Timer is a Taylor Brands LLC company, um, pretty much a trade. And the folks at Shrade were kind enough to send me one of their Copperhead series folding knives. This is a 2147 OT, and it's just a uh, very lightweight, very functional knife. So as usual, let's take a look at the specs and details of this knife. We'll take you down the stump top, do some of that nice stuff. Okay, so once again, this is the Old Timer 2147 OT Copperhead folding knife. This knife features a 3.4 inch or 8.7 centimeter drop point blade of 7CR17 MOV stainless steel, a 4.5 inch or 11.4 centimeter snakeskin textured rubber handle, which is also the closed length, an open length of 7.84 inches or 19.9 centimeters, and a weight of 5 ounces or 140.6 grams. This knife features a liner lock design with ambidextrous thumb knobs, a lanyard hole, and a molded polyester sheath. The street price on this knife is about 20 bucks on Amazon. Okay, so that's some of the specs and details of the knife. Uh, let me tell you a couple of things I really like about it before we get down to the stump top and start doing some of that knife stuff. First of all, I like the rubber handles. Um, I like the fact that it's just very, very comfortable and we're gonna see how well it feels when you're doing some of that carving, but I, I can't imagine it's gonna do just, it's gonna feel just fine. The um, I like the open design here. It just makes it really easy to keep it clean and, and, and cleaned out. Being all stainless, you can really, you know, you can wash it out if you need to. These handles are um, removable. They have, they have little uh, lock screws on them, so you can take those off if you need to, but I don't really see you needing to. Um, it's got a very positive, very positive uh, liner lock on it, and it's also a very smooth action. Um, I think, well, I mean, no, you can flick it open. I got a feeling that it's not going to be long before you'll be able to flick it with the uh, with the thumb studs because they just it kind of loosens up a little bit. It's almost there now, and I've only used it just a little bit, but it's got a very solid lock up. I mean, there's just no no wobble in that blade, and it just opens and closes very easily. And it's getting you know, us a very nice molded sheath here, so belt sheath, and just keeps it right right there. That's one thing that I've got a Gerber Gator, which is very similar to this I've had for a long time. And it's just got a flat nylon sheath and that's the one thing that really is a little bit of aggravation about it because it almost takes two hands to get it back in the sheath because the sheath collapses on you. This one is actually stays open molded. So I like that too. So that's some of the things I like about it. Let's get down to the old stump top now and see how well it does some of that nice stuff. Okay, first of all, we got to remember this is a $20 knife. So I, I just, that's a pretty good deal to me. So we're going to just do a little bit of craziness extreme here. We'll see what we can do with this thing. Definitely not what you would usually use a, a, a um, folding knife for, but you know, trying to do something a little different here. So we've got a big knot in the way, which is going to prevent this kind of prevent this thing from splitting out like I want it to. But. So far, so good. So, got that out. Let's see what she does about splitting it this way. Okay, we'll turn it over and maybe do better from the round side. All right. All right. Trying to get down to something we can carve on here. This should work. Let's see what we got here. A little heaviness here. Let's see if we can split something out one more time. There we go. Not, not perfect, but should do. Let's try this. All 
All right, so we got a few of those there. Now, you know what I'm about to do, don't you? Let's see if we did all that in vain. Got to find something that'll strike a... The back of this thing is not really sharp. Uh, and that's not really what it's designed for. We do got a little choil here, like a sharpening choil. Maybe we'll see if that will... Can do something. Oh, yeah. But well, now that I've started, I can't abandon the process, right? Finally. Okay, so I skimmed my knuckle on, <laughs> but that little toy right there actually got the job done, so. Not optimal, but in case of a stream emergency, you know, it'll work. Okay, well that is the uh, old timer 2147 OT Copperhead folding knife. I gotta tell you, I, I kind of really like this knife. I like the rubber handles on it. I like the, it's very lightweight and it's just, man, it's just, it's comfortable to use. It, it, it's got a big enough handle. You can really get a hold of it, do some work. And it just absolutely does a great job, you know. Um, it's uh, solid as a rock, and even the even though I was, only place I was able to get a ferro rod to strike was on this little toy right here, it did work. You could always use the blade. Again, 20 bucks on Amazon. So, so if you're looking for a pretty low budget but very capable folding knife, um, a very comfortable folding knife, you might want to check out the Copperhead line from the folks at, at Old Timer. You know, they've got several different knives in the Copperhead line that all have this kind of molded, you know, snake skin looking handle. And um, just very capable, very, very handy, very high value knives. Once again, thanks to the folks at Shred for sending me this so I can show it to you. But by the way, if this is your first time here at Survival on Purpose, I invite you to check out some of our other videos. Basically, every Saturday, we do a Shred Saturday video. Um, every Friday, we do some other kind of video. And generally, throughout the week, uh, once or twice, maybe another random video of some kind or other. So if you want to see what else we got coming up, just hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified whenever I have a new video out. And I really appreciate you taking time to check it out. So thanks for watching. Thanks for clicking that thumbs up, for sharing this video with all your friends. And thank you so much for doing all your Amazon shopping through the Survival on Purpose links. I really appreciate the support. Once again... My name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared. See you next time. I invite you to just to show. So if you really, want, so if you want, so if you want to make sure, um, this would be a, this is a. Um,